Kilo Echo 8 Tango Golf Oscar. Okay, Kilo Echo 8 Tango Golf Oscar, Roger. Yes, and what was yours again? Uh, call is Kilo Juliet 4 Yankee Zulu India. The name is Eric Echo Romeo India Charlie. We are in Florida Mobile. Roger. Michigan. All right, with the Michigan. Well, we are uh, your first contact here on the uh, on the President Washington, um, and uh, using it for ten meters, and it seems to be doing well. I got it on a uh, CB antenna that I got tuned where I can go from eleven to ten meters. So my SWR is about one point six, one point seven, but in the mobile, it seems to be working. Roger. Okay, well, your 20 watts is making it, man. Uh, up in Michigan, I know it's cold up there. Well, your 20 watts and your NFED is, is working good. Are you using uh, maybe perhaps a, a Zygu G90 at 20 watts? Over. Yep, that's the one. All right, well, you're, you're up at 5758, five, man. That 20 watts is definitely working. I'm using about, I'm pushing about, uh, I'd say 60, 70 watts. I don't have a meter on it right now, but. The radio will do a maximum of 80. I have it turned off right now. Um, uh, the, turn the, the truck off, so it is not, uh, uh, you know, charging or anything. But I'm just running on battery here in the parking lot of the high school here. So just wanted to make some contacts here real quick and see how it was doing. I bet you it's cold up there. Currently 62 degrees in Mich in uh, Florida there. Over. Okay, Roger. I, I'm in I'm in Vero Beach, so you probably know that's about an hour and a half south of, of Daytona Beach, about an hour and twenty minutes or so. Um, down here in Vero Beach, a little town called Sebastian. I'm sure you know where the Sebastian Inlet is, but they don't know where Sebastian is, so I call it Vero. And uh, we're just in the mobile here, so fine business. Uh, it, uh, let me get your call again, so I can put it in my head phonetically for my uh, my my uh, my my frontal lobe QRZ book, Roger. Again, when, when you gave it to me before, I couldn't find my pencil. Okay, so I got K-E-8-T-G-O. This is Kilo Juliet 4, Yankee Zulu, India. KJ4YZI in Vero Beach, Florida. Roger. Very good. Uh, I'm starting to get some interference here. Uh, maybe the things are close enough. I'm not sure yet, but uh, I'm... I'm to lose you. All right. Well, we'll say 7 3 and wrap it up, man. But thanks for the contact. You have yourself a good day. Stay warm out there in Michigan. K E 8 T G O K J 4 Y Z I from Florida 7 3. 73. I'll throw one more out there. CQ, CQ, CQ from Kilo Juliet 4 Yankee Zulu India K J 4 Y Z I in Florida Vero Beach in the mobile. Standing by. Aeronautical Mobile, very good. Whiskey Station, Aeronautical Mobile. Give it to me again, please. That's Whiskey Foxtrot 1, Yankee Echo Romeo, WF1, YER, Aeronautical Mobile. All right, very good. Kilo Juliet 4, Yankee Zulu India uh, in the uh, the ground station mobile. <laughs> uh, whereabouts are you in the Aeronautical Mobile? Over. Roger, Roger. I love hearing the aeronautical mobiles. We uh, we do that on uh, 17 meters sometimes on the uh, HF activity group, and there's one person that uh, gets on there, and, and he's here and there and everywhere. But uh, very cool with the aeronautical mobile. And uh, we're here in Vero Beach, Florida, just uh, 
playing with the radio, I just finally mounted in the vehicle and uh, we're pushing about 60, 70 watts into a CB antenna that I got tuned between 10 and 11 meters so I could use both, Roger. All right, Chad. Well, name is Eric Echo Romeo India Charlie. And uh, yeah, lots of stations on 10 meters. I just uh, had to scroll up a little bit and find a free frequency because it was that busy. You take care, you take care, man. Have a safe flight. Have a great day and uh, have a good trip home when you're there tomorrow. Thanks for the, the shout out, Aeronautical Mobile. From KJ4YZI in the mobile in Vero Beach, Florida, 7-3. And there you have it. I just want to make sure it wasn't coming to me, but I'll just give you a little heads up on what I just did. Okay, so I put the Tar Heel back here. This is um, the little Tar Heel HP. That's for my 7100, okay? But what I did was I took, I, I, I kind of like this antenna. I really, really, really do. So that was on the compact 10, a perfect 10. So I took this mount, which is rusting. <laughs> this is a Chinese mount. I took this from this door, which had my, th this mount and antenna. This is the Comet mount with the Comet SBB7. Had that on the, on the back door for a dual band, okay? And I didn't want the CB antenna up here. So I reversed them and ran the wires. However, um, when I did that and took the compact antenna again on here, the SWR at channel 38 is 1.0 to 1, okay? Previous video, I showed 1.5 to 1. That was because of it was mounted over on the Diamond K400. However, this mount is rusting, and this work truck, yeah, doesn't like the rust. It's only got 12,000 miles on it. However, I ground a little bit on the back here, um, got some of the screws into the metal, and uh, I tuned this antenna for right at about 27.65. So I could use it on 11 meters at a 1.5 SWR, and it's broadbanded enough that I could use it on 10, like you just saw, at 20, uh, 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 1.7 to 1. So I could have it totally flat on 10 or totally flat on 11, depending on how I adjust that, but this antenna is not um, the 10 meter version. You'd have to cut a lot off to, to get it perfect on 10. So that's why they make the perfect 10, of course. But the, uh, the compact antenna right here, I have this on the President Washington. I could use it for 11 meters and talk, skip and DX all over the world on 27 megahertz, or I can do it on 28 as you just saw. Um, and I have the analyzer and uh, I'm not gonna show you, but I do, I, I am telling you this uh, SWR came way down using a different mount and grinding on the back of this thing. So I'm gonna take this off and paint this, make it black. Um, and also this Chinese mount, this cable and this part here, I took this and this and the cable off of a antenna that I got from um, Shark Antennas which wouldn't mount as a body specific mount. So I took this part out and I mounted it on the Chinese door mount or lip mount here. So I, I, it's a combination here, but to get a 1.11 or 1.01 or whatever I had SWR on a Chinese mount with a good piece here on a door with my truck here. And I have the little Tar Heel HP. I'm doing pretty well. 7-3.